that's probably the first thing you should do is go through your circle of influence, okay? Just with that, you should have clients coming up to you pretty quick or some clients that you can deal with, okay? Let them all know about you. I mean, it's something you're proud of. Let people know what you're doing. You don't have to push them, beat them over the head with a stick. Uh, the marketing type thing, just let them know what you're doing and you'd be surprised how many people are going to start speaking to you about it. Now, the way I started in business, and this is a really, I guess you could say a really fast track way to get in business, I wanted to work with businesses. Someone had mentioned a little bit about uh, a little bit ago about doing groups, okay? I was doing group sessions for businesses. Now, what's the big thing in businesses now? I know pretty much all of the United States, you can't smoke in public places. So a lot of businesses are trying to get their people to quit smoking. So group smoking cessation for businesses. What else can you put in your brochure for businesses? Productivity, stress reduction, uh, whatever, you know, you know your area, what can be, you know, what, what will be uh, helpful for them. What you're going to do is go ahead and create what I call a uh, promotional package. This is how I started. I created a promotional package. In this promo promotional package, okay, number one is your business card. Number two is your brochure. Now, when you make a brochure or a business card, don't sound like a, you know, a jack of all trades again. Don't say, you know, hypnosis for this and this and Amway and Herbal Life and all these other things, okay? If you specialize in something, have one business card for that. If there's something else that you do, create another business card. Okay, you want to be a specialist. So, your business card, your brochure, a letter of introduction, okay, telling who you are, what you do, your unique selling points, remember that little uh, elevator speech, those kind of things. A coupon or a gift certificate. Okay, that's, we're going to get back to that in a minute. Now, this is all going to go into an envelope, some kind of an envelope. I used to use uh, just a regular number 10 envelope. Okay, and if you have any referrals, referrals are gold. Okay, if you have any referrals, put some referrals in there as well. Now, like I mentioned before, this coupon I had was... Uh, $50 off, or you could even say $100 off if you charge $150 uh, a session. $100 off towards your fourth session, it says on the coupon at the bottom, of a, of a full week smoking withdrawal program. Now what I used to do is enter one of those coupons inside the envelope with everything else. So in this envelope with the business guide, brochure, letter of introduction, it had the coupon. On the outside of the envelope, kind of like if this was the envelope, I had a little kind of like a ribbon coming down this way, kind of so going like this. I had, all it was was a blank envelope, but over here I had a ribbon. Uh, I, I printed it so it would be like a yellow, it looked like a yellow ribbon, and on it it said $100 gift certificate in, inside. So when I was giving it to somebody, it was a gift, okay? So I had all these packets, these promotional packets. Now what I did was, you're a new business, you just opened an office, start with the place right next door to you. Okay, so open your door, is there another business there? Walk in. Most places don't like soliciting, so very nicely walk into the place, say, hi, I'm so-and-so, I just opened the hypnosis office next door, I just wanted to introduce myself and give you a free gift. Have a nice day and walk out. Basically, you're giving people free gifts. And like I said earlier, eight out of 10 of them stop me on the way out. Whoa. You open the hypnosis office? What's hypnosis? What do you do? So that's a great way to get going. So you go to the person across, you know, across the hall, then next to him. So basically start going in a circle around you. Every single business, start handing out these packets. Make a lot of them. You're giving people gifts. You're advertising word of mouth. Remember, every single person knows 200 people. And if they're business people, they know even more than that. Okay, especially business owners. So as you're going around, make that circle bigger and bigger and bigger and eventually, and you're not going to do it all in one day, but every day, let's say if you make a, a plan to hand out, let's say 50 a day or even 30 a day, it's going to become more and more and more and eventually everyone in town is going to know you because they're going to have your packet. You don't want to give this to the business owner. If you want good advertising, Give it to the secretary or the receptionist or whoever happens to be there, okay? If you give it to the business owner, chances are he's going to take it and he's going to throw it in the circular file. If you give it to the secretary, 
she's going to tell every one of the employees, salespeople, hey, there's a hypnotist that moved in across the street, you know? So she's going to tell everybody. She's like the town crier. And when the boss comes in, she's going to tell the boss as well. One of my favorite things to do is I'd walk in, I'd see the secretary or the receptionist, and I'd walk all, right up to them and I'd say, hi, are you the owner? And they go, oh, I'm not the owner. It'd be flattery. Say, oh, you should be. And of course, it makes them happy. Then I do my spiel and I walk off, and they're more likely to stop and start a conversation with me. Okay? So you give those out to all those places. And again, these people here, they're going to start calling you. Can you come over and do smoking sessions for my people? They might only have 10 people or 5 people, but... Again, that's a lot of money. You're charging so much ahead. Now, I didn't charge the full amount. If I'm charging $150 for an individual session, I may charge $60 ahead for the group. Um, there's a, also, when I did groups, of course, you do a group, you would do like a, have everybody in for a one hour session for, let's say, $60. But if you want to make more money, tell the owner, say, if you want to have it more successful, I'll come in for an orientation for everyone in the morning and then find out basically whether they're analytical or non-analytical, give them all the basis, and then every half hour, they'll give you a, set you up in an office, every half hour have the person, one person come in at a time and give them an individual session. Since you already did the preliminary, it's only going to take a half hour to do the individual sessions. Now you can charge, let's say, $90 versus $60. Okay, so you can make a lot, you know, a lot more money, and it's a lot better session uh, for the client as well because they're getting more personalized. So uh, those are some of the things you're going to find with groups. Networking is very important. Remember, everyone you see is a prospective client, okay? Um, another thing that I did that really uh, shot, I guess, the business upward, uh, that really got my name out, is networking with businesses. Uh, not only going out and meeting them, but I'm actually saying, you know, like giving talks, for instance. Uh, I used to do a lot of public speaking for what I call the animal clubs. Uh, you know what I mean, the wolf club, the lion club, the elk club, the beaver. There's so many different clubs. I think the name them after animals. Uh, there's also the Rotary. Uh, there's the Dance of Columbus. Now, most of these clubs, like the lion club, for instance, they have to have a speaker come every month. That's part of their rules. It's, it's free. They're not going to you know, pay you for the, for the talk, but you're actually giving a presentation to all the business owners in town. So this is a great way to get your name out. Now when you go there, have a lot of packets and cards to give out. Another thing you can do is Chamber of Commerce. Every city, I know around here, every city has a Chamber of Commerce. You don't need to deal just with yours, okay? Um, why not you know, go to your Chamber of Commerce and meet people, hand out packets, and then go to the next town, and go to the next town. I mean. There's not a lot of hypnotherapists that belong to the chambers, so you know you don't have to belong to every chamber. Just go to them. Uh, usually, each one of them will have what they call a chamber after hours meeting. You know, once a month they get together and they have a meal and minutes and all that. But you just schmooze time before the meeting and after the meeting. Now, even if you're not a member, they usually allow you to go. You might have to pay a ten or fifteen dollar fee, or maybe pay for the meal. But go on the chamber of commerce, whatever town you're going to, and look at their web page. It'll tell the, you know, the events that they're having month to month and just show up at one of their chamber meetings, okay? Um, go in, schmooze with people, start handing out things, and they'll remember you, okay? Then you can maybe once a week or once a month do a different chamber. Um, again, these are business people. These are leaders of industry. They're getting your packet. I remember once at Sanford, I handed out some of my, uh, I had a packet with like six coupons in it. And somehow it got to a doctor's office. I noticed as time went on, I was having a lot of these clients come to me from across the street from this doctor's office, and they came in. They said the doctor gave me this coupon. I wanted to. I was a new client, but he wouldn't deal with me because he doesn't like smokers. He always said, "Go see that hypnotist. Let him take care of you first." So this doctor was referring all kinds of people to me. So after I'd get five or six, I'd go over there and give the receptionist a whole mess of more coupons. She'd put them right on the counter, and I, for some reason, I never met this doctor but people just kept on coming from his office. So those things can really help. You'll get business in places you won't even think of.